friends welcome back to my channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix arc raiders latest game crashing not launching not working not loading black screen lagging low fps or other issues on pc so if you are also into the same situation just go through the methods discussed in this video so the very first method what you need to do is to check system requirements to play the game so make sure your pc meet the required specs so for that go to steam and the store page here you have to search for the game and after that go below and here you can see the system requirements to play the game on your system so make sure you have all these requirements and after that try to launch the game and see if it helps if not next is to restart your pc and steam as well so go to steam now click on steam option then click on exit after that click on windows icon over here then click on power then select restart now restart your system so after restarting now check if you can launch the game or not if not next is to update your graphics card so make sure your graphics card are up to date for that go to windows search search for device manager now here you have to uh, expand display adapter select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so this will search if there is any update available for your drivers and will update it and after updating launch the game and see if you can play it nvidia and amd users just go through the link that i have already provided in the descriptions and you can easily update your graphics card from there next method is to modify launch option for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties now click on general here you have to type minus dx11 and then check if you can play the game if not again come back and type minus dx12 and then try to launch the game and see if this solution resolves the problem next method is to verify integrity of game files for that go to steam now under library section select your game right click on it click on properties then click on install files and here you have to click on verify integrity of game files after verifying the game files check if you can play the game so for that the next method is to rename the config file so for that uh, go to your pc this uh, go to the file explorer uh, then open it then go to users folder after that click open your name folder and after that click on app data if you cannot find app data then click on view and then click on show and now click on hidden items so this will show you app data open it now click on local and here you have to search for a pioneer game so open it and here the saved uh, folder and now here you can see config simply you need to right click on it click on rename and here you have to rename the folder and after rename it now launch the game and see if this resolves the problem if not next is to run game as administrator so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties and click on install files and click on browse now yeah, this will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed now select the game application over here pioneer game right click on it click on properties now click on compatibility now select run this program as an administrator then click on apply and ok and then launch the game if it doesn't help click on run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or windows 7 and then hit on apply and ok and after that launch the game and see if it resolves the problem if not again come back click on disable full screen optimizations and click on apply and ok and after that try to launch the game and see if this solution resolves the issue if not next method is to allow the game through firewall for that go to the windows search, search for windows security now here you have to click on firewall network protection allow an app through firewall click on change settings after that search for the game over here it's been listed if not then you need to click on allow another app then click on browse after that go to the game folder where your game has been installed and then add the game to the list over here after adding it select the game click on uh, private and public boxes and then click on ok and after that launch the game and see if you can play it if not next method is to check graphic settings of the game so when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolution etc then also it directly impacts the game and this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues as it plays a vital role so make sure to set up the settings properly or even lower the graphic settings to avoid the unwanted issue next method is to update system bios so for that first check your motherboard model now visit its support page and download the latest bios after that follow the official instructions for bios flashing and finally restart your system and then test the game if it's working 
Next solution is to stop overclock CPU and GPU settings. Sometimes overclocking makes the CPU or GPU unstable. So you are suggested to check if there is any overclocking of CPU or GPU in the background. This will help you to fix the issue. Next method is to disable in-game overlays. So Steam users just go to Steam. Now click on Steam option over here, then click on settings. After that, click on in-game. Now here you can see enable the Steam overlay while in-game option. It is enabled. You have to click on it to disable it. After disabling it, launch the game and see if it was working. For GeForce Experience, open GeForce Experience, tap on gear icon beside username, click on general and then switch off in-game overlay options from here. For Discord overlay, go to the user settings, then game overlay tab, then switch off enable in-game overlay option from there. Next method is to close unnecessary background tasks. So for that, go to the window search, search for task manager. Now here you have to search for those apps which are of no use and after selecting them, now right click on it, click on end task and this will close the game completely from your system and after that again try to launch the game and see if, if this solution resolves the problem next method is to install visual c++ files so for that i have already provided the link in the description just copy and paste it in your browser or also you can search for visual c++ files on your browser so after the website opens now go below and from here you have to click on the link that is provided over here and after downloading the link now install them after installing restart your pc once and then log into the game and check if you can play it without any further problem next solution is to update windows for that go to the windows search, search for check for updates now this will take you to the windows update page here you have to click on check for updates option if there is any update available it will check and after updating your windows now check if you can play the game next solution is to change virtual memory settings so for that go to the windows search search for view advanced system settings now click on settings option then click on advanced then click on change now select the folder where your game has been installed after selecting click on custom size and in the initial size you have to type 12288 and in the maximum size you have to type 24576 and then click on set and then click on ok after doing this changes, check if you can play the game. Next is to disable antivirus program or firewall. So if you are having an antivirus program, then it can interrupt in your gameplay and can lead to such kind of issues. So you are suggested to disable antivirus or firewall as well. So for that, uh, first go to the Windows search, search for Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection, then go below. Here to click on manage settings and here you have to turn of real time protection if it is turned off well and good otherwise turn it off and then check if the issue is fixed apart from this you should also go uh, to the windows search search for windows defender firewall now click on turned windows defender and here you have to customize settings for each type of network here you have to select turn off windows defender firewall in both private and public network settings after that click on ok and then try to play the game and see if it resolves the problem if not again come back or uh, turn on windows defender firewall in both private and public network settings and then click on ok and after that again try to launch the game and see if this helps to resolve the problem next solution is to run game on dedicated graphics card so for that go to the windows search search for graphics settings now here you have to add your game to the list for that click on add a desktop app now go to the game folder where your game has been installed uh, steam steam apps now here the game application select it and after adding it to the list now search yes here is the game you click on the arrow icon under gpu preference you have to select high performance after selecting high performance now try to play the game and see if it resolves the problem if not then the final solution is to reinstall arc raiders playtest game for that go to uh, steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage and click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option so after removing the game completely from your system restart your pc once after restarting launch steam and again reinstall our raiders game on your pc and after that Try to play the game and see if it's working now without any kind of issues. So these are few suggested solutions to fix Arc Raiders 
latest game crashing not launching not working not loading or other issues on pc so that's all for now in this video thank you